everyone. Welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video, I just wanted to talk about Saturn. Saturn's going forward on September the 6th, I believe, and he has been in retrograde since about mid-April. So I thought it'd be really cool to just go through each ascendant and to give you a reminder as to which areas in your birth chart he is governing, he is the Lord of. Now those of you who know your chart will know this very well. Those of you who are astrologers will know this very well, um, off the top of your head in fact. But this is for those of you who aren't so well acquainted with your birth chart. Um, I'm very happy to just go through each ascendant and say which areas of life uh, Saturn governs for you. Now it'd be good for you to observe and to see that from September the 6th and in the coming months after that, the contrast in that area of life with say mid-April to, to this period of time, if you're able to look back on that and see how there's a difference, how there's a shift, how there's more movement, what you might observe for example, is, well, let's take the Aries Lagna, for example, and that's the Aries Ascendant. Um, so if we take the Aries Ascendant, Saturn rules the 10th house of career, 11th house of gains, networking, friends, all that kind of thing. So, you know, what you might observe is that from, say, April to this time in terms of your career perhaps you've been quite focused deeply focused on an area um, to do with your work maybe you've been working on a really big project but you've kind of been stationary or you've been there's been more power or attention or concentrated effort or you know a different quality of energy from mid-April to this time and then in the coming months, you'll notice a contrast, maybe um, work-wise and, of course, networking-wise. Maybe your network grows and you... Um, well, actually, we're going to go through each one. So, yeah, <laughs> Aries is getting a lot of attention here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, if we look at networking, say, for example, in career and maybe over the next few months, the contrast will be that that particular project winds up and your network expands a bit more and you're out and about on different things, your career is expanding perhaps or growing, whereas before you were really heavily concentrated on one particular thing. So we're going to go through every single ascendant and I'm just going to touch on the areas of life uh, that Saturn rules and you'll be able to see for yourself over the coming months will you have more activity in that area of your life so Aries we have uh, as I said 10th house of career spotlight honors fame as well here too uh, and um, the 11th house of gains hopes dreams wishes networking friends older siblings uh, all that kind of thing so in these areas of your life you might have noticed you know more concentrated energy and hopefully over the next few months you're going to notice that there's more movement thanks to Saturn going forward okay so if we take a look at Taurus ascendant Saturn rules your 10th house of career and it rules your ninth house of, now I'm going to say long distance travel, I'm going to say academia, studies, religion, relationship with father, so there's a lot going on here. Uh, so in these areas of your life, and I mean the tenth house can also be, you know, um, home as well because of the aspect there. So in these areas of your life, I'm really hoping that you see some forward momentum. That's what we're after. And definitely with Saturn, when it comes to forward momentum, um, you can look at things in a material sense as well because I do think that Saturn is quite heavily connected with um, 
with material things uh, as well. So especially for you, Taurus Ascendant. So let's take a look at Gemini Ascendant. Saturn rules your ninth house and your eighth house. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at foreign travel, long distance travel. We are looking at academia, relationship with father, as I just said, um, for the Taurus Ascendant. And with the eighth house here, we are looking at other people's money, other people's resources. Um, what other kind of things? Gosh, the eighth house is pretty deep. Still waters run deep. Uh, we're also looking at, and I think it's kind of emotions, trauma. Um, and that's what I mean by depths. You know, it's like in the eighth house, you can kind of sweep things under the rug, never to be seen again. Uh, but, you know, I don't know, maybe you do see those things again. Maybe you do. And hopefully, maybe if you've been feeling stuck, in fact, then this really could be why. So I'm really hoping that um, for you, Gemini Ascendant, you know, some nice opportunities come through. Hopefully, maybe in regards to travel with that lovely ninth house there. But yeah, the eighth house, very interesting. And I think Cancer Ascendant, let's have a look at Cancer Ascendant here. Hang on, how do I make this this? And there we go. What have we got? Yes, we've got the eighth house here too. And we've got the tenth house, uh, seventh house is what Saturn rules. So for you, the areas of life that Saturn rules, it is other people's money, it's depths depths, the hidden depths, secrets, treasures, um, what else is, is happening here in the 8th house? There's a lot happening in the 8th house, there's a potential for total purification in this house, so you know, let's not get too carried away with the, the deep dark depths. Um, and then we've got the 7th house which is the other and it's relationships, it's work relationships, it's partnerships, it's your significant other, it's also your public, your you know masses, fame, all that kind of thing, your people. Uh, so there's the self on the other side, which is the first house, the seventh house is people, masses, others, groups, right? So for you, Cancer Ascendant, what are we looking at? I mean, I'm hoping we're seeing some forward movement, especially I think when it comes to your significant other, because eighth house, other people's money, you know, if you get married, in-laws, all that kind of thing. I mean, you know, these, these two houses are very significant for relationships. So yeah, truly, I hope your relationships get smoother, easier, some forward movement. Um, Definitely forward movement here. If you've been feeling a bit stuck or if you've been feeling that your relationship is just at a certain place and it's not, you're not moving to the next level, truly I hope that changes for you. And of course all of this does depend on how um, Saturn is placed for you and, and what kind of a player Saturn is in your particular chart. But that's something I could go into further during a reading. Okay, Leo Ascendant, what are we looking at? Um, relationships seventh house their relationships and sixth house as well now sixth house is um sixth house is quite a lot of things sixth house is i do see it as i mean it's service social work but it's a career as well and you know working hard um it's also debt as well um <clears throat> It's also foreign bodies. So if you're uh, involved in a litigation, you know, court case or anything like that, hopefully expect to see some forward movement in that. Um, <clears throat> so definitely things to do with work and potentially court cases if that's um, something that's been, been stuck or stagnant. 
Let's take a look at Virgo Ascendant. Virgo Ascendant, Saturn rules your sixth house and your fifth house. So for you, now sixth house is, uh, as I just mentioned, and guys, I don't know if I'm going to put the little timestamps this time. I may not have time for that, so you might have to sit and listen to everybody else's. Um, what have we got going on here? Sixth house, work, service, career, debt, litigation, foreign bodies, bacteria, sickness, can be sickness as well. Uh, and then we've got the fifth house of creativity, children, fun, play, entertainment, um, the kingdom, you know. So here's what I want to say. I've got a little notification. Um, here's what I want to say about this. Expect forward momentum in these areas and hopefully, definitely, I mean, exciting with the creativity there. And that is something that I do want to say to all signs, but I think I'll save it for the end. I'll save it for the end. Let's go through all the signs quickly now. Okay, so let's have a look at Libra. I won't stay too long because I'm going to make you sit through everybody else's. Uh, Libra Ascendant, right. So what have we got? Creativity, children. Saturn's affecting that area. And also your house of home. Home, mother, comforts, pleasure. Um, education is here too, actually. Any of you who are studying and you're Libra Ascendant, <clears throat> you can expect some forward momentum in terms of your studies and in terms of con concentration and um, hopefully how much, how much work you get done in terms of your studies. So that's really exciting. Let's take a look at Scorpio Ascendant. The areas of your life being affected are your house of home, fourth house, um, <clears throat> which is also your mother. Pretty sure it's also vehicles as well. Um, comforts, conveniences, I believe people say. Uh, all that kind of thing. And your third house of effort, courage. Uh, you know, the short-term travel, media, sales, friends, groups, hobbies. So you should expect to see some forward movement in these areas of your life. And of course, with all of these and younger siblings too, in all of these, there are so many more connotations that I'm just not going into. I'm just kind of going into the general, generic, big, broad brush stroke. Um, areas. Okay, Sagittarius Ascendant, what are we looking at? We are looking at your second house of wealth, family. And when we talk wealth here, we're talking, you see, and I'm in fifth house. You know, 511, there's money there too. Um, stock market investments, all that kind of thing. But second house money is more uh, family savings. And it's also like not family savings, but like your savings, your savings that sustain you. Um, and it, I mean, look, that can be family savings, but I mean, that's, again, we're on the two eight axis. So that's other people's money and that's more eight. Um, fascinating. I love looking at money in charts. It's really interesting. So, I mean, we've got wealth here. We've got material things, family, um, all that kind of stuff and more. Uh, what else have we got in the third house? The third house, what was that? That was like courage, self-effort, hobbies, groups, short distance travel, media, sales, all that kind of thing. So in these sorts of areas, hopefully you start to see some forward momentum or some, some more movement. Perhaps things have been a bit stagnant for you. Capricorn Ascendant, well, now having holding uh, the Ascendant, you know, Saturn lording over your Ascendant, um, you yourself as a person, as a fundamental human being, should hopefully see some more progress in life. Uh, and that could be to do with your health. That could be maybe you've been feeling like, maybe you've been feeling a bit sluggish, um, actually. Maybe you've been feeling really tired. Uh, that, that could definitely be something. Perhaps your family has been a bit of a drain on you as well because we've got second house here, family, all that kind of thing. Uh, it's quite possible. So maybe things to do with family and your actual physical self. Family, savings, wealth, physical objects, things like that. Um, that's the second house there. So these are the areas 
that are impacting you. We are going to scoot through to it's amazing going quickly. I'm, I'm a much slower person. I, uh, it's kind of, wow, this is so fast. Um, and as I say, I don't know if I'm going to put timestamps. Don't know. Uh, Aquarius Ascendant, what's going on for you? Okay, so it's your entire self, just like Capricorn. And it's your um, 12th house of losses, which remember, it's not quite losses in a classical sense of you lose everything and then it's over. No, you lose, but you gain something. So... You know, you might gain, well, I mean, you might lose, um, you might lose time or progress, but gain a lot of spiritual knowledge, or you might lose money, but you acquire physical goods, or, you know, there's lots of different ways that can pan out. Um, but perhaps for you, Aquarius Ascendant, maybe there have been losses, maybe there's been losses in terms of work, or money, or um, time, or you perceive like you're wasting your time, or something like that. But you you would have gained, uh, maybe in ways you're not realizing. But hopefully you'll see forward momentum, and hopefully that should start to improve and change if you've been experiencing any of those things. Now we've got Pisces ascendant. What areas of life are you affected by with this? Well, we've got that area of losses again, and we've got the area of gains. How cool. So um, so quite a mixed bag for you. There's also gains, friends, networking, wishes. Another thing about the 11th house there is um, titles, promotion, things like that, being recognized by others. So hopefully... Um, you start to see a pickup in in those areas in your life. Um, what was the thing I was saving for the very end? Ah, yes, I wanted to say to check back into that September overview I did. I think I said that the 6th of September would be a really great time to sit with a blank piece of paper and to write down your dreams and to know, I think that was the 9th, let me get this right. Well, regardless, guys, it's around this time, isn't it? Oh, dear. Hang on. Maybe it was the ninth. That was the ninth. Okay. But regardless, the sixth, the ninth, around this time, get the big pad of paper out, jot down what you really want. Uh, what you really want to manifest, what you want to create going forward and really engage that energy of asking, a sort of pure asking, dreaming and asking. These are wonderful energies and I've been going into this quite deeply uh, in some of my sessions with clients and in some of my readings actually. I've been making some progress in, in learning about some of these concepts so maybe hopefully I'll get to make a video about that one day. Uh, I've got so many videos to make but um, I think I'm going to wrap this one up so thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm really hoping that Saturn goes forward in a way that helps you progress and that helps you feel some true forward momentum in your life because my goodness we could all do with a bit more proper forward momentum uh, I, think, I think everyone's been finding themselves slightly stuck in some area of life over these last few months so here's hoping that you get the forward momentum that you need thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time <laughs>